Hello and welcome to what the mooth. I mean, what the math? That's an error. And today we'll be talking about errors and percentage errors from chapter two. And that's basically when you try to estimate something and you make a mistake, how do you find out how, what the mistake is? Before we start, we need to know two different words and these are approximation and estimation. Approximation is when you take a value and you turn it or round it off to something a little bit more convenient. So for example, you could look at someone's height and maybe this person right here is 199 centimeters and you can approximate it to be approximately 200 centimeters, uh, approximately 200 centimeters, or in other words, it's approximately two meters that this person is tall. What? That makes no sense. That's not even English. He's two meters tall or she. The word estimation is a little bit different. The word estimation is when you don't actually measure anything and you estimate things. Basically, you, you try to guess. So if you look at this person that he or she is tall, how much? Also not English. Uh, and you try to guess. Well, you think maybe this person is 180 or 190 centimeters. And so that's your estimation. Your estimation is that this person is 190 centimeters, but it turns out that he or she is actually much taller. He or she is uh, 199. So in your book, you actually have two different types of errors. One of them is just called errors and it's expressed as the letter E. And this is uh, where you take your um, actual value and you subtract it from your estimation or estimated value. Estimated value. And uh, so if we were to look at an example of a person's height, so we have this person right here. We kind of think that this person is about maybe 190 centimeters, but it turns out that this person is actually 200 or 199 centimeters. This is his or her actual height. Uh, in this case, your error is uh, 199 minus 190 and that's nine centimeter error. Now, um, your book makes this a little bit uh, more specific by including the absolute value brackets, which is basically, um, it's the vertical looking line that means that your sign here is not important. So if, if you estimate this person to be 210 centimeters, um, so in other words, if this is, I'm estimating him or her to be 210 centimeters, which will be, uh, 199 minus 110 uh, without the absolute brackets you actually get a negative value and this doesn't really make, make sense because it's an error anyway uh, so you're actually looking for positive value which is why we, we include these uh, absolute value brackets so in this case it's actually 11 centimeters um, now and, and your book also has something called percentage error and that's uh, something more common you'll see this a lot more often and this is um, also e uh, but I like to write it as E with a little percentage here. And the way it's found is by finding an absolute value difference of, uh, let's use the, uh, the values used in the book. So basically the book likes these terms. It likes to use V E for actual or exact value. This is exact value. In other words, it's this 199 centimeters. V A is your approximation. Approximation. Um, and so here, the, um, your actual percentage error is going to be VA minus VE, absolute brackets, divided by uh, exact value, and then multiplied by 100%. It's a little bit longer, but it's actually, uh, it's, it's quite, uh, it becomes quite clear when you try this, when you calculate it. So let's try this together. So um, we estimate this person's height to be 190. Uh, so this is 190. The actual height is 199. And divided by the actual height of 199, multiplied by 100%. And let's try this on the calculator. So 190 minus 199 uh, divided by 199 and multiplied by 100. And so our estimated, and so as you can see, it's actually negative value because I did not use the absolute value on the calculator. 
uh, but the actual answer is going to be 4.52 or 4.5 percent. So the actual answer here is 4.5 percent error. All right, let's try another example. This is example 20 from page 61. And this is also a very similar problem here, though you're actually trying to guess a length of a fence. And you think that this fence is approximately 70 meters long. When in reality, though, in reality, it's 78.3 meters long. And the question is this. There's actually two questions. Let's divide them in two parts. Uh, one is find the error that um, find the error of your estimation to one decimal point. So in other words, you, you're going to have uh, zero or something and then one decimal point. So one decimal point. And the second question is find the percentage error also to one decimal point. All right, let's start with the error. So error equals two absolute value of exact minus um, approximate and it actually doesn't matter which uh, which one you put first uh, because it will still give you the same value because of the absolute brackets and the answer here is 70 minus 78.3 and the answer is since this is absolute brackets is going to be positive sign 8.3 meter error and this is to one decimal point as well all right, so let's find the percentage error now. The percentage error is going to be a little bit more tricky because there's more numbers involved. So here we have 70 minus 78.3 divided by what is our actual value? The actual value here is 78.3 and then multiplied all of this by 100%. And what we'll get here is, it's about 10.63 percent but since it has to be to one decimal point we're going to rewrite this as 10.6 percent and uh, it's actually better to use approximate uh, equal sign so not this so approximately 10.6 percent and that's the answer to example 20 on page 61 so this was error and percentage error hopefully this was a little bit more clear and it's not a very difficult concept, but you may actually see this again and the problem might ask you to find an, um, a percentage error of your estimation. So make sure that you know how to use this. All right. Thank you for watching and bye bye. Good luck to you. See you later.